I'm Steph and this is Hannah who's going to help me out today. Today we're going to show you how to make an American key lime pie. So the first step is to make the pastry. So I'm going to start weighing out the dry ingredients and Hannah's going to start grating the limes. 300 grams in there. We have a pinch of salt. I'm adding 60 grams of icing sugar. I'm going to slice the butter up into small chunks that makes it easier to rub into the flour. So you just rub the butter into the flour until you get a fine breadcrumb consistency. And now we're going to add the liquid mixture. Next I'm going to separate out three eggs from the egg whites. So I just need the yolks to go in the pastry. But I'm going to keep the whites later to put on the meringue. That's coming together really nicely you now. Wrap the pastry in cling film and leave it for 20 minutes. So while Hannah's grating the zest of the limes, I'm going to half them and squeeze the juice into a jug. Into the mixing bowl is going to go half the zest of the limes, all of the juice that we've just squeezed, the whole tin of condensed milk and four egg yolks. And I'm just going to whisk that. Okay, so we're going to whisk the cream and the lime mixture together now just to make sure they're all fully incorporated. We're going to get the pastry out of the fridge now. So you roll it out to the size and the depth that you want and then fit it to the flan case and then we're going to blind bake it in the oven. So if you find your pastry is ripping a little bit, you can use a piece of leftover pastry just to squeeze the pastry in the case into the edges of the tin just to make sure you get a really good fit. So to line the pastry case with greaseproof paper, you need to screw up the greaseproof paper. This makes it really easy to fit into the edges of the flan dish. But on top of that, we're going to add the baking beads, which you can get from any good kitchen shop. So now that's done, we can put it in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes at 180 degrees. Okay, so we're going to dissolve the sugar in the water on a low heat, and this has got to be done stirring continuously. The caramel's done now, it's bubbling away nicely, it's really hot enough. So I'm going to add that whilst whisking into the already beaten egg whites. So Hannah's going to chop up three pieces of stem ginger into thin strips to be placed on the base of the pastry case underneath the lime mixture. Okay, and the last step that I like to do is blowtorch the meringue just to give it a nice finish. And there you go, one American key lime pie, simple as that. <laughs>